what you call an HD face, sweetie. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Maria, if you're new. On this channel, I make beauty videos, lifestyle content, and a vlog every now and then. If that sounds like something you like, you're gonna wanna press that subscribe button. Join the family, it's cool over here, you know. So this video is gonna be about the Makeup Forever new foundation. This is the HD Skin Foundation. Now on the Makeup Forever website, um, it's it's this is what it's saying. It's saying it's a new and improved formula. This new version of the iconic Ultra HD Foundation is powered by technology that enhances performance, undetectability, for skin that looks like skin under any light. Oh, that's some strong claims, y'all. That's some strong claims. But this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do first. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys me applying the foundation. I applied two coats. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I applied the first coat. And then I'm gonna show you what it looks like after I applied the second coat. And then after that, we're gonna talk about what I think about it. And we also are gonna do a wear test. So y'all gonna wanna stick around for that. So make sure you guys watch the next clip of me applying this foundation. Let's talk about it more. Let's talk about it more. So I'm gonna read some more what the website says so that we can see how I feel about it if it really is doing what it's supposed to do. It says on the website, this foundation is supposed to instantly blur. This foundation is supposed to have a natural finish. This foundation is also supposed to be waterproof and sweatproof. As we know, this is the second time they reformulated this HD foundation, and um, it's supposed to look good in any light. This is supposed to be good for like movies, films, photo shoots, every day, everything. You know, this is the big makeup forever. My thoughts on the first version of the foundation, I loved it. I loved it so, so, so much. So this is supposed to be it even better. I've been wearing this foundation this week. I've actually, I actually have two shades. I have shade 4N68, and I also have shade 4Y70. I wanted to make sure that one of these shades was gonna be me, or if I needed to combine them, I was gonna combine them. So I did go and pick up these two shades. Now, how I feel about the shade match, I feel like the first time I wore the foundation, I tried to combine them, and but I also was rushing that day, and it went super left. Like, the shade 4Y70 is absolutely too red. It was given Oopa Loopa, it was, it was a no, sweetie. And then um, the shade 4 and 68, I was afraid it was gonna be too light. But the thing about these foundations, they do oxidize if you give it about, you know, five minutes, not even five minutes, couple minutes, one, two minutes, it does oxidize a little darker, thank the Lord. So it does look lighter in the package than it's gonna look on your face, so that was good. And I also like that this foundation, it, even though it's neutral, it's 4 and 68, so I'm guessing 4 and for neutral, it doesn't lean to gray or like, you know, it leans a little yellow, which I do like my foundations to do that. Just a little yellow, not too much. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Cause this was too red. This was way, way, way too red. When I applied the foundation, I noticed that it was a very light sort of feel to it. It was very light, it was very airy. It was very breathable and almost felt like I had nothing on my skin. So for you girls that like that real light, breathable, like sort of foundation, it's gonna be for you. With this foundation, I did have to do two layers. One layer wasn't enough because I do like a full coverage type look. I also didn't wear any primer, just so y'all could see how this wears with no primer, how it looks just on bare skin. I mean, I did moisturize, of course, but this is how it looks on bare skin, no primer, out straight out the bottle on the face. So, I mean, I did set it with some powder, but besides that, no primer was used. Um, I am gonna do a wear test on this specific face as well, but let me just tell you a little bit how I feel about how this makeup lasts throughout the day. So yesterday I put my makeup on about 10 o'clock. I didn't get home until about 10 o'clock, so I had this foundation on for 12 hours. I wish I would've took a picture. I have a picture from the beginning of the day, but I don't have one from the ending, so <laughs> disregard that. 
but um i had a mask on as well so what i did notice is that this foundation is going to move like it moved from where my mask was it wasn't super crazy but you could see my hyperpigmentation once i took that mask off i thought this foundation looks amazing on camera as you can see now the skin is giving it's giving it's giving it's gi it's giving you know what i'm saying so it does look i have three studio lights in front of me and um it still looks amazing the way the light bounces off the foundation is impeccable so i will say that that is what makeup forever is known for their products look great in light and different types of lighting another thing that i really really like about this foundation is that it does the if you are a combination skin, I don't know about oily skin because I don't have oily skin. I have combination dry. So I definitely get oily in my T-zone, like my nose. What I do like about this foundation, I did not get oily at all yesterday. I wore it for 12 hours. Like the oils didn't peek through, none of that, nothing of that nature. Now I had to touch up for as my mask, wiping it off, I guess, with like the heat that the mask causes, you know, sort of deteriorates your makeup. I had to touch up in this area for sure. But um, besides that, the makeup was good to go, good to go. There was no oil. I really, really do like this foundation. Initially, when I put it on, I didn't think I was gonna like it because I'm more of a full coverage off rip type person. You know what I'm saying? I don't wanna have to build it up. I don't wanna have to do that. But this was nice because the foundation was so airy and breathable and light and just it, it was pleasant to have on the face like some foundations you put on you automatically feel clogged like your pores feel clogged you feel like oh my god it's gonna break out you feel like you can't breathe your skin can't breathe this don't give that this is a nice breathable foundation if you're someone with less perfections this will be perfect for you because you this is literally something you can just put on and go you know what i'm saying so i definitely like that for that so if you're looking for a new foundation, I would definitely go check it out. Um, I would definitely see what it's given. You know, try it out. If you don't like it, you can return it, especially get it from Sephora. I return everything there. Yeah. Okay, guys, this is like six, seven hours later. I didn't do any touch-ups, and I also have been wearing my glasses. So I have these marks here. This is what the face looks like in my bathroom lighting. Not bad for six hours later. I, mean, I didn't do anything that strenuous. I didn't have a mask on, any of that. So, I'm about to go out. So, I am going to do a small touch-up. As you can see, there's no real oil peeking through. My eyebrows are a little oily, but I think that's because of what I put on my eyebrows. But, there's no oil peeking through. There's no separation. There's no evaporation. The makeup is still there in place. So, I'm going to just touch it up, and then I'm going to come back to y'all at the end of the night. Okay guys, so this is my face at the end of the night. I'm taking a shower and all that jazz, so I'm exhausted. I had on this makeup for over 12 hours. And this is what it's given, not really too much oil. Um, Not even like separation, I have my glasses on, so that's why my nose looks crazy, but all in all my face still looks good. So like I said, Get this foundation. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it.